So this memorial is basically um, a story, a brief story about what happened on the um, May 6, 2015, the death day of my dad. It's cool, man. I mean, like I say, everything happens for a reason. My dad, being a fireman growing up, was like something that I always wanted to do. tell somebody, like, hey, my dad's a fireman, my dad's a fireman. A lot of kids growing up, they get excited when they see fire trucks. Like, been there, done that. He was always the quiet leader. He knew ever since he was like five that he wanted to be a fireman. My brother caught him out back, lighting matches, you know, kept him that punch. He wasn't only your supervisor, he was also a friend and somebody you could look up to, a mentor. When he walked in a room, it lit everybody up and everybody was, you know, upbeat. You know, if you were having a bad day, he could definitely brighten your day up instantaneously by just by, just by talking to you. He inspired others to, to be, you know, to be the best they can be. Everyone loved him. Yeah. My biggest fear was what happened May 6th when they knocked on the door. I knew immediately something had happened to him. That was my biggest fear. When DC Fire Engine 6 approached the high-rise building, they saw this, deadly flames bursting from the windows on the top two floors. From his 24 years of experience, Fire Lieutenant Kevin McRae knew the building at 1337th Street Northwest. Without hesitation, he and other firefighters ran to those top floors to save lives. But the effort would cost Kevin McRae his own. We knocked fire down, we were checking for extension, you know, ventilating, hydraulic ventilating out the window, you know, getting all the smoke out. Kevin asked us, uh, said, hey Brady and Plummer, come on out to the hallway. He said, I need a break. So we said, all right, well, let's go downstairs, get some water, we gotta catch our breath. And uh, as soon as I sat down, the wagon driver from 12 engine ran by me and grabbed our aid bag and our oxygen, and he said, fire me down. And I looked to my right, and uh, Lieutenant McCray was down in the stairwell. Pretty much our whole world changed. I mean, it... That was the longest day of my life, so. I just was in disbelief. I won't believe it. The official cause of my dad's death was a heart attack. And before that, you know, um, I lost my nephew. He was a fireman. He had a heart attack. James. We are impacted by that loss of life. Their lives are changed forever. We don't want people's lives changed forever. So what can we do? The number one cause of death in firefighters for job-related deaths is heart disease. And I believe the direct cause of that is food, the food that we put in our bodies. It's taking too long for that to sink in. Uh, it's a huge culture change. It's a culture shock for us all. And uh, we, we need to be the leaders with uh, promoting health and fitness. We as a country, we as an organization, we as people have not done a great job with diets, with preparing people, teaching people how to do things. We can't control the hazardous environments we go in, the stress of the job, but we can control the food that we put in our bodies. We have uh, Mr. Tate and his group going into fire stations, teaching firefighters the basics that all the things you have around you are good if you use them the right way. So um, if you understand portion control, if you understand uh, how to put it together so you feel your body, that is what draws me to that. Evan was 44 years old when he passed. He was so young. And I would not wish that on anyone, not anyone. Because he had a whole life ahead of him. All too often, uh, we can ignore a heart-related death on the fire ground. Um, 
because it's not a fire-related death. And what we're doing for Lieutenant McRae, knowing that, uh, like I said, a uh, son lost his father, and now that Devon is on the job, I believe that DC Fire and EMS can um, take up the mantle and um, set the standard for every other jurisdiction to make health a priority in the fire service. I believe that if we can change the culture, change how we look at food, we can change the lives of not just firefighters, but of their families as well. We go out, we have a lot of fun, but we're here so we can take care of our families. And so that means we, we need to be going home to our families. Don't take life for granted. Um, I lost a lot of people growing up to heart diseases or other causes of death and just make the best of the life that you live.